the Igbo youth have warned that they might be moved to revolt against leaders in the southeast zone should there be any submit in the zone in the future without their participation and those of Biafra agitators. The youth under the edges of Ohanyezi Youth Council OYC led by Okechuku Isiguzoro warned that they may not fold their hands and you know any longer to watch gathering of Igbo leaders where issues are disclosed without their input. In a statement in Enugu yesterday, leader of the group Okechuku Isu Guzoro stated that it was disheartened that members of the group could carry their accusations to an event organized specifically to honor outstanding Igbo leaders and in the process caused injuries on certain Igbo personalities. Meanwhile, the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Maso, has said that the leadership problem that has reduced Southeast Zone to near nothing was responsible for the coming together of the pro Biafra agitating groups. An Australian based leader of the group, Arinzi Omeji, told journalists that the development was what Undubu needed to reclaim their rightful place in the affair of the country as well as realize their Biafra quest, which he said was long overdue. No fewer than 18 pro Biafra groups met in Newi, Anabra State last week and agreed to work together for the actualization of Biafra, restoration and unity of purpose for Biafra. Omeji said the renewed unity would provide the platform for them to discuss and take far-reaching discussion on issues affecting the struggle for Biafra actualization and restoration. However, the MASO, which in a statement signed by its National Director of Information, Samuel Ederson, distanced its members from the disruption of the meeting as asked Governor Uguanyi to intervene and ensure that the immediate release of all those arrested by the police for allegedly participating in the disruption of the meeting. The declaration by the youth by the youth followed the Igbo summit that was disrupted in Enugu two days ago by pro Biafra agitators, the Yohannese youth which condemned the invasion of the summit called by the Eastern Consultative Assembly ECA led by Elliot Uko said it was a threat on the security of the state. What is your thought on what has been said? What is your reaction on what has been said? We have had the Igbo youth who have warned that they might be moved to revolt against leaders in the southeast zone should there be any submit in the zone in the future without their participation and those of Biafra agitators. The OYC warned leaders against excluding the Igbo youth and most especially the Biafra agitator from any meetings they are having. Probably initially they have been, you know, excluding them, but now the OYC have warned the leaders not to exclude any of them again. What do you make of that statement? Meanwhile, the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Maso, have said that the leadership problem that has reduced southeast zone 
to near nothing was responsible for the coming together of the pro Biafra agitating groups. An Australian based leader of the group also told the journalists that the development was what Indubu needed to reclaim their rightful place in the affairs of the country as well as realize their Biafra quest, which he said was long overdue. What is your say to this? We would like you to drop your thoughts and comment on what has been said. We would like to see your own reaction and thoughts on this. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this that we have had. Let's see their own point of view on what is said. Daniel Obuagu reacted to this and said that the extensions of youth and the groups they represent from meetings were decisions that would affect them, even indirectly, must stop. The ban of Igbo unity today is the preponderance of politicians and business interest, that is the self-styled leaders in important meetings to the exclusions of youth who bear the brunt of the consequences of the blunder of such leaders. What do you make of what Daniel Obuagu have said about this, that the exclusion of youth and the groups that they represent from meetings were decisions that would affect them, even indirectly? What do you make of this that has been said? What do you make of this reaction you have had? We would like you to also drop your thoughts and comment on what has been said. We would like to see your own thoughts and reaction over this. Well, let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is about this. Guest also reacted to this and said, My brother, you are really right. That is where they make wrong decisions against the generality of Igbos. Thanks. We have heard what guests have also said about this, that they will exclude the Igbos and the Biafra agitators from meetings then they will start to make wrong decisions against the Igbos in general, of which will not be, you know, pleasant to the Igbos, but they were not there to be able to defend themselves. This is what guests have said that these people should not be excluded from any meetings again, because that is when they will make a wrong decision for the general Igbos. What do you make of what has been said? What is your thought on this? Don't forget that the youth under the ages of Ohanese Youth Council, OYC, led by Okechuku Isiguzoro, has warned that they may not fold their hands any longer to watch gatherings of Igbo leaders where issues are discussed without their input. We would like you to share your thoughts with us on what you have had. We would like to see your own comments in the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.